So we'll add the two of them together, divide them by two to give us the average reaction time. So we did that with put. And then we use this ABS function, which takes a negative or a positive number and just makes sure it's positive. So T start reaction. T start reaction. Plus absolute T end reaction, all of which is divided by 2 into T average reaction. And then we can put T average reaction into field reaction reaction time. Now I've just misspelt that. So let's just give that a test and see how that comes out. Okay, as you can see the number is um, crazy high. It's clearly a, a, an error. And the reason for that is because S shake start and S shake end don't have anything in them. We didn't simulate a shake, so they were zero, so our calculations are all completely wrong. Instead of displaying that kind of number, what we just want to display is no reaction, because obviously no the user hasn't made any reaction to the white square or the white circle. So we do that by just making sure both of them are greater than zero. If S shake start is greater than zero and S shake end is greater than zero, then go ahead and do this. Otherwise, put no reaction into field reaction time. So now this time we should get a nice message just saying that there was no reaction made. There we go. No reaction. Okay, so the next step is for us to have a look and see if this um, works on the device. So save it and load up your mobile plugin. Let's get it running on the simulator. Okay, so here it is in the simulator. What I'm going to do is, is press play and then I'm going to um, use the hardware menu to send a shake gesture, but I'll wait until the white circle appears, my shake gesture has been sent. You'll see there that um, our reaction time came out at 0.52 seconds. Now the simulator sends um, a start, a motion start message and a motion end message at the same time and so there's no way in the simulator of truly testing our, our application. What you'll need to do is take that to the device and try it a few times and make sure our calculations are correct. But um, if you can manage to um, get your application running on on your phone and manage to get your reaction times to regularly be under 0.3 seconds, then you have excellent reaction times. So that's our um, simple use of Shake. Hopefully that's um, helped you to see the potential of, of what you can do with the Shake messages. And um, I look forward to seeing some of the things that uh, are created with this particular feature.